Hi and hello I am Athena Pandian here welcome to the Athena Pandian channel in the job series today we are going to discuss about uh, the biomedical service engineer already we crossed over so many biomedical job scopes in the series we are discussed about biomedical service engineers duties and the responsibilities and how much salaries they are going to take all the thing you are going to discuss in this video come let me start the video duties and responsibilities of the biomedical service engineer or biomedical field service engineer biomedical field service engineer or a biomedical service engineer they perform the installation repair and maintenance for medical laboratory equipments clinical hospitals research toxicology department and the pain management labs all employed by this biomedical field service engineers they can able to work with different sort of equipments and different sort of labs and the hospitals okay then on a daily basis biomedical field service engineers travels to meet the customers and perform troubleshooting with the machines and the medical products in the labs and the hospitals and also they are all keep on self motivated people who communicate effectively like uh, hands on working and enjoy making sure people have the best medical devices will thrive in this role that's the main job and what are all the duties and the responsibilities here while a biomedical field service engineers day to day duties and the responsibilities are determined where they work and also there are many core task associated with the role based on our analysis of job settings because each and every companies have different sort of roles and responsibilities for the service biomedical engineer some of the company they are giving a bigger task to them and some of the companies they are giving a limited task all are responsible according to the companies here the first duty for the field uh, field service engineer is to perform on site equipment repair biomedical service engineer respond to service calls in order to perform on site repairs they conduct troubleshooting and provide technical support services such as replacing needed equipment components once their work is completed a biomedical service engineer complete service reports weekly ta logs and expense reports all the things we will submitted to the senior officials then order and install new lab equipment also done by the service biomedical engineer your primary responsibility of the biomedical field service engineers is installing a new lab equipment they are also responsible for assisting in the planning and purchasing of the needed equipment and also the components of that particular equipment biomedical service engineers work with the customers technical specifications and also evaluate what devices will best their needs that is also responsible for the sales biomedical uh, i'm sorry field biomedical engineer see and the next responsibility is he must be test the biomedical equipment what sort of the equipment it may be he must be electrically strong and also he must be electronically strong as a biomedical field service engineer should design and develop the biomedical equipments or the labs they test the function of the equipment by taking detailed accuracy selectivity and sensitivity measurements of the particular equipment they calibrate groups of equipment to ensure overall quality control and also the biomedical field service engineer monitor the equipment and also make sure that the performance is alignment with regulatory requirements or not so each and everything is responsible by this particular service biomedical engineer next is the next role is perform and preventative maintenance of course engaging in ongoing preventative maintenance for medical equipment is a critical task for a biomedical field service engineers because they ensure safe and optimal performance through routine inspections and in service training with customers and also they are also coordinate maintenance schedules and quality control checks so the prevention is a very very important for the service biomedical engineers because they are totally dealing with they are totally uh, engaged with the electrical equipments 
and then they are providing technical customer support of course the biomedical service engineers are responsible for providing quality customer service they communicate their job progress to managers and handle the customer relationship issues they help implement equipment changes according to the customer laboratory policies and practices since they work in the field biomedical field service engineers are often the first to share up the date information on pricing and the devices that is a very important role done by the biomedical service engineer and then these are all the roles and responsibilities for the service biomedical engineer actually so what are all the skills and the qualification if you want to work in a service biomedical engineer in tyron company what are all the skill sets you required and what is the minimum qualification you should have as a biomedical field service engineer should have a firm understanding of biomedical engineering and healthy communication skills and then employees typically took for candidates with a bachelor's or associated degree at least a two years of field diagnostic experience and also the following skills what are all the things we are going to discuss about okay so mainly service engineers are not appointed from the freshers they should have some of the two years of experience in any of the hospitals or any of the training institute or any of the projects labs and then the first skill required for the service biomedical engineer is the biomedical service engineer should have the diagnostic skill they need to ability to diagnose the problems on the complex medical equipment okay that is a very important thing to determine over and then you should the service biomedical engineer should repair and troubleshooting the skills that is they having the ability to repair and maintain the medical laboratory equipment with little supervision in essential for the biomedical field service engineer and also the biomedical field service engineer need to be troubleshoot equipment issues effectively over the phone and on site that is a very important thing so for example in the emergency condition they need to attend a phone call at the same time through the phone itself they can able to uh, clear the troubleshoot of the particular equipment is also one of the pra- stamina for the particular service biomedical engineer then physical stamina apart from the other stamina the physical stamina is also very important because they must have high physical endurance and need to be able to lift over more than 80 lbs so that is what you should be strong and then only you can able to lift the particular equipment and then you can able to install in your lab and then you should have some of the minimum of computer skills also because using the computer skills and working with technology to fix manufacturing electrical equipment is essential for biomedical field service engineer that is what the computer skills is also required for the biomedical engineer then the communication skill of course whatever the job scope it may be the communication skill very important for each and every job scope biomedical field service engineer is often act as an advisor to other clinical administrative and the technical staff members and therefore need to communicate complex informations to the employees to to the customers especially so that is what you should have some of the professional communication skills and then so these are all the skills and uh, skills required for the biomedical engineers and what is a salary minimum salary the particular service engineer will get is a uh, 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 in our uh, research the list of medical annual salary of the biomedical service engineers is around uh, 68000 us dollar the lowest 10% earners make less than 49% okay 49 us dollars and the highest 10% earners are more than 94000 us dollar so the salary is appropriate in the tier 1 tier 2 tier 3 companies and then uh, the outlook what are the outlook the particular person regarding the salary in regards the bureau of labor statistics projects industry employment for the biomedical engineers to grow 7% through 2026 this rate of growth is about as fast as the average of all occupations however growth in this industry will continue due to the new technologies and the new invention it is increasing the usage of the biomedical equipment and devices in small clinics to the multi speciality hospitals so the salary level is keep on increasing and it will reach high salary in the range in the year of 2026 you are expecting much salary for the service biomedical engineers so that's all about this particular video regarding the uh, field service engineer or the biomedical service engineer thanks a lot for listening this in the next video we are going to see the roles and responsibilities of the biomedical engineer in the hospital thank you very much 